I think music helps everybody. You don't need to have autism to be helped with music. Dr. Stephen Shaw is a professor at Adelphi University in the United States and an internationally renowned expert in the study of autism. As a child, he was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome. After 18 months of typical development, I was struck with what I call the autism bomb, where I lost functional communication, had meltdowns, and withdrew from the environment. So in short, I became a very autistic little kid. Diagnosis of autism in those days was tantamount to a life sentence in an institution. And the professionals said they had never seen a child who was so sick. My parents provided what we would today refer to as an intensive home-based early intervention program emphasizing music, movement, sensory integration, narration, and imitation. I think the most important thing about my parents is that they accepted me for who I was, but at the same time recognized there were a lot of challenges to overcome if I were to lead a fulfilling and productive life. Something sounded horribly out of tune. Since then, music has played an important part in Stephen's life, and now he uses it to connect with children on the autism spectrum. Music is a great way of communication that works very differently from verbal communication. Whatever seems to scramble the verbal centers of the brain responsible for speech leaves the musical connections intact. So music may become the means of communication. It may be helpful in promoting verbal interaction. It was even thanks to music that Stephen met his wife. We initially met as music students, where we began by reviewing each other's homework. After that, we moved on to doing things socially. And then one day at a beach, she suddenly gave me a kiss, a hug, and held my hand. When that happened, I had a kind of a social story, which told me that if a woman hugs you, kisses you, and holds your hand all at about the same time, it probably means they want to be a girlfriend. That being the case, you better have an answer right away. It could either be yes, no, or further investigation and analysis is indicated. It seemed to be a pretty good thing to do, and now we've been married for over 23 years. Here I am in front of you as I focus on my mission of helping individuals with autism lead fulfilling and productive lives to their greatest... Today, Stephen travels extensively, speaking at conferences and advocating for people with autism on the world stage. It may seem contradictory that an individual with autism might speak in front of as many as 1,500 people, because isn't that social interaction? However, a presentation is really just a long monologue. When it comes to our focused interests, we can talk about them for days. It starts as soon as you know somebody has autism. Through his work, Stephen has developed a unique understanding on how public perception of autism is shifting. A little bit about me. Uh, my mother just had a two-hour labor. At 18 months, I lost functional communication. There's been a lot of progression and development in the understanding of autism since I was a child. When I was first diagnosed, very little was known about autism. Autism was thought to be this rare psychiatric disorder caused by poor parenting and found in about one in 10,000 individuals. Today, the Center for Disease Control in Atlanta, in the United States, accepts an incidence rate of one in 50. There's great controversy as to whether there is more autism or are we better at recognizing it, and likely the truth is somewhere in the middle. Well, the importance of disclosure, and along with the importance of disclosure is the importance of managing disclosure. We're getting to a point now where we realize that there's a number of approaches. One isn't necessarily better than the other. However, what we are finding is that one approach may be better for a particular child than another. My best advice for parents of children with autism is to see what your child's interests and strengths are. What your child prefers to do most likely relates to their strengths. It's important for parents of children with autism to realize that their child has unlimited potential, just like every child. 
And what our goal is, what our responsibility is, is to provide that support so that we can access those strengths of that individual.